Well, hello everyone. This video, in this video, I will be putting together a telescope for astrophotography using a filter wheel and a monochromatic camera. What do I mean by this? Well, when it comes to astrophotography, if you decide to go the video camera route, you have two options. You can take or use a color camera or you can use a mono camera, which is basically a black and white camera. The differences between the two basically come down to time. Using a color camera, you don't have to worry about filter wheels, you're taking the images in color, they're easy to process, but the downside is that the color that you're getting is not the clearest color image you can get. In order to get the clearest color image you can get, you have to use a black and white video camera with a filter wheel. But then again, it comes back now to time. You have to spend hours taking each image in a diff with a different filter then combine all those images into one image, and then you have the color image. So, for example, if you if you decide, well, it's the Andromeda galaxy outside, and in order to get a good image of the Andromeda galaxy, you have you're probably going to be out there for for a few hours. Well, if you're if you don't have a few hours time or you just want to show your friends, your family, maybe a color image or a color camera is the best option for you. But if you really want to bring out that color and you really have the time to take the image or five or four different times, depending on how many filters you have, then you would use a filter wheel with a, a monochromatic camera. This is a filter wheel. This is a manual filter wheel. I don't have an automatic, automatic one or automated one. And I've already put it together, but basically how it works is that you would take the camera. So this is my ZWO ASI 178. This is a black and white camera. You would put it on top. And then you would, let's say, take an image of a drama of the galaxy using the red filter. Then I would go back and take an image again using the blue filter. Then I would take an image again using the green filter. Then I would take another image using the luminous filter. Then I would combine all those images after all those hours, combine every single image into one image, and then I will have the color image that I can show to everyone. As you as you're probably thinking, yes, this is very time consuming. But if you really want those images to bring out the best color possible, then this is the this is the way to do it using a video camera as opposed to a DSLR camera that a lot of astrophotographers use. How you add it to the telescope is relatively simple. You just basically add it to the elbow. So you would put your filter wheel there. Then you would add the camera. You would tighten everything up. And that's basically it. The camera, the filter wheel are all added to my telescope and it's ready to take a lot of images to have astro photography images that really bring out the I hope this video was helpful. It is a quickie. 
But I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you want to see anything else about that you want me to talk about, please leave those in the comments too. And I will hear from you soon.